Say goodbye to manual data entry. In this next video, I'm gonna show you how you can effortlessly transform PDF files into Excel files in just a few simple steps. You don't need any sophisticated software or any plugins, all you need is Excel. Let's get straight into it. So here we have our PDF data and it just simply looks like a financial review with some paragraphs of narrative up the top. And then we have two tables down the bottom. One is revenue by region and one is revenue by product. And let's say we want to take the revenue by region and we want to put that into Excel. Well, one option would be to select the data, copy that into Excel. That doesn't format very well. So let's not do that. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top of the ribbon and select data. Then on the left-hand side, we go to get data and select that. Now there's various options on different ways that we can get data into Excel. So from file, from database, from Azure, and from other sources. But for the moment, we're going to go up to from file and then select down the options to go to from PDF and then left mouse click. We just need to select which file we want to use to upload. So this is the file that we were looking at before. So just import that. Take a few seconds for Excel just to read that data. Next, we'll come up on a navigator screen and this is just telling us exactly how Excel has read the data. So we can see there's a page which is effectively all the data on the page. And Excel has also recognized two different tables. So that was our revenue by region and then our revenue by product as well. The option up the top here, which is select multiple items. So if you had quite a large PDF, you could select this tick box and then select all the different tables that you wanted to upload but I'm not gonna do that for the moment. I'm only interested in table number one. So when I select table number one, it gives me a little bit of a preview of what the data looks like. Now I can go to the bottom and simply press load at this stage. But if you look at the data, the header columns up the top are not quite right. We want the years to be the header columns. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press this button here, transform data. Take a few seconds just for that to upload. Very editor screen and Excel is just pulling through that data. Now within this screen, there's various options you can do to refine or manipulate the data. So we can remove columns, we can split columns, we can add rows, etc., and we can add calculated columns as well. But what I want to do is just remove this header and have it as the years instead. So I'm gonna go up to the top of my ribbon and then I'm just gonna choose this option which is use first row as headers. Click that and you can see then that has just removed the top row and then put the years as the headers. I'm then gonna go over to the left hand side of the screen and choose this option which is close and load few seconds for it to link into Excel. Effectively, we have our table now in Excel, which is a nice clean table, and we can use that then to further manipulate and do data analysis on our table. I hope that tip saved you time and effort. If it did, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel to receive more productivity updates in the future. Till next time.